There is civil unrest amongst Xbox gamers these days, and it's in large part centered around two recent actions. The first being the Fire TV Xbox partnership boasting no need for a console, and the second, the reconstruction of benefits for their console tier of Game Pass. Now, the Fire TV move feels like an abandonment of a console suite they modeled the most powerful or and most balanced. The latter just feels like a repudiation of console gamers altogether. Couple this with the move to place Xbox games on their biggest rival PlayStation, and many are now wondering if they will ever understand how they fit in this new transition. Well, now supporters have come out to defend these moves. They're saying the company's just being more user-friendly, and the criticisms are unwarranted, or people are freaking out for no reason. It's not logical. Now, are these influencers saying this right, or is Xbox really gearing to slyly dump their core consumer console game? We talk all this in the next installment of the Spill or Hot Gaming Hot Topic video series. This is going to be a good one. Let's get into this one. Yeah. What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another episode of the Spill. Again, this is where we talk about the latest and greatest in video game, AAA genre defining news. And boy, oh boy, we got a good one for you today. But before we get into that one, do us a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please. All right, let's get into this one. Okay, so um, here's what I want to do. I want to show you two things first, and then we're going to talk about them on the back end. So in order for me to do that, let's do this. Okay, let's make that bigger. All right, there we go. All right, so this is from Stein. And if you don't know who Stein is, Stein is the social media manager over at Xbox. Okay. So he responded to what we talked about in the bumper as far as like console gamers filling the draft um, from Xbox. And they're like, and he's th this is his response to this, right? Check this out. He's just been reading some of the negative takes on cloud and how more choices mean less for others. It's not logical. We got um, Series X and S, three new console models revealed in June, cloud on mobile browser, Meta VR, Samsung TV, and Am Amazon Fire. First party games across legendary developers, across multiple ecosystems, Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass PC. Third party games and great partnerships with icons like Square Enix and more. All wrapped up in an ecosystem that supports cross play pro progression purchase where implemented. It is always about choice and your choice doesn't remove from others. It always um, grows together as interconnected systems, not silos. All right, and then the second uh, is from, here he is. Mr. Glaze, Microsoft, and Mr. Chaz Corton. I, you know what? I, I don't know how to take this guy. I wonder if it's how he wakes up in the morning. Like if he's had his fiber that particular day, uh, he, he might just go on the Glaze campaign for Microsoft. But if he's had a rough night and he's woke up to a ball of beef eaters, right? then maybe we'll get the truth. I, I don't know, but th this right here has to be one of the most ridiculous takes that I've heard from Jazz. And this is coming from me, a cloud gamer myself. He says, cloud is Xbox hardware though. The console is just in a data center instead of your house. What's the difference? I, I look, okay, we'll get back to this, this, this buffoonery in a second. Still, still with Stein, because at least Stein put a little bit of effort in his slyness and in his slickness, right? So Stein, here, here's the problem. It's not choice. What's happening right now is Xbox gamers are being forcibly exodus, <laughs> that's the word, from the console. They're everything that has made the console lucrative for them is being stripped away it is it is being maintained elsewhere or is being slapped elsewhere so owning a console is no longer lucrative for the xbox consumer because when you buy a console there's a lot of investment and in money that goes into said console for a particular purpose like if i buy an xbox over a playstation I'm, I want those Xbox games, so that's why I had to put that $500 up there to get those Xbox games. But I may want the, I want the multiplats as well, because there's more multiplats than anything. The thing that swayed my decision for most gamers are the Xbox games, but that's not the only thing I engage with. So if most of the games that I engage with are multiplat, 
because I'm a console gamer and that's just how it flows, even with PlayStation. If most of the games that I indulge with are multiplat and you are stripping away what makes a console lucrative for developers to get into it, is you've heard developers say, uh, nah, we don't even know why we support that. And your response is not to make the console more lucrative for those developers. You say, oh, okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to make this open platform. How about you put Epic Store in there? You're going to put Steam. So get your third party from there. Hell, we're even doing AV testing on the possibility of games that we offer too. We point you over to the video GeForce Now. Like for instance, Street Fighter 6. Uh, you don't want to play it with us? You don't want to get our version? Go ahead and get their version that you got to get via Steam. No association to the Xbox marketplace altogether. You're pointing people to an entirely different marketplace. So you're stripping the closed uniqueness of the console. And, and that's part of what makes it, um, that's part of the incentive for the developers. Because they're like, because you're closing that off, then you're going to really fight to try to bring more people over to this box plus making it more viable and more lucrative for us to put our games on here so if you're not doing that then we're not going to make native xbox versions we'll start cutting back on that you're going to see that over time right and they're not waiting like i just said they're not waiting apparently it looks like they're not waiting until the, the, the this new hardware comes out there are a, there is a b testing slides out there if these slides are authentic of them trying this stuff right now like i said with what they're doing with street fighter 6 and geforce now so stein stop bruh it's not about choice it's about hurting you are trying to herd gamers who want that native gameplay that comes with the console that wants that fight for exclusive content that comes with the console, that makes the content, the console more lucrative, brings more people to it, and then creates a cycle where the Xbox marketplace is now defined and more lucrative so we can get these third party games. That's not happening. Now what you're proposing to people is play on Fire TV where you're gonna see examples of where people said that's trash. Oh, go, or no, 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 go get a PC. That's expensive to play these games on PC right and a lot of these console gamers they will not be able to handle pc so you're taking them away from their comfort zone and thrusting them somewhere else where they're at this point in time they're not going to enjoy it you could sit there and say well you know we're giving you reasonable fidelity with the cloud if x cloud wasn't so problematic output wise we'll get into that in a little bit but Stein, that was a clever way to try to gaslight gamers who have authentic concerns. Bad choice for you, bro. Bad choice for you. You're, you're, it's like, again, the fa what's the famous line we associate with D-Batch? Who are you going to believe, me or, me or your lying eyes, right? This right here is just straight buffoonery. I am a cloud gamer. And for full transparency, I'm going to tell you something. I like this Xbox move personally. I do. Why? Cause I'm not, you, you would, I would rather stick hot razor blades in my eyelids before I buy another piece of hardware from Xbox. I will only indulge with Xbox via Xbox, uh, PC game pass. If the cloud gaming infrastructure ever improves to a reasonable form, I might try them there, but Xbox deciding to bring their games to me is the best thing they can do to get my dollar. But here's the thing. I don't represent the core. I represent a minority of people that don't engage with Xbox, but would semi entertain it if Xbox became more accessible. Your core right now, the people that are paying the lights and paying the bills right now, this is the antithesis of what they're looking for. This is not going to work for them. Not right now. And not at the pace that you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's one thing that you, you know, you got Fire TV available. That's cool. But another thing is you're stripping away core elements of the console experience. That's where I say you're, you're making the wrong moves. But this right here from Jazz is, is just straight lunacy. What is the difference? You want to know what the difference is? Let me tell you what the difference is. 
Uh, I want you guys something else. This is a video that we've talked about with our members. So if you're a member, go check it out if you haven't already. But this is a video where Digital Foundry themselves, who tried to be nice to Xbox and xCloud, I remember when it first released, and they were like all like all nice about it because they were playing it on a phone. I forgot what game they they were playing, but you know they 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 were shilling for it. Right now they're not shilling today. They tested it, and they were just like, "Look, man, I mean it's playable, but it's not acceptable. Like this is not a replacement for your Xbox experience." And so no, they're like the slogans that are coming along with this are completely false. Do not fall for it, right? That's the difference, Jazz. Even though they're using Xbox hardware, you're not getting nowhere near the same level of output. Even the Series S, it pales into comparison to the Series S. That thing's been called a potato all uh, generation. Jazz, this is this is lunacy. I, I, get off my screen. Get the hell off my screen. So we have that. We also have this from the Therat Think Tank. And these are the people that I go to first and foremost for all things Xbox, right? Um, there's gonna be links to all this. I want you to listen to what they have to say about their Fire TV experience with Xbox, right? But it doesn't stop there. Friend of the channel, the homie, Doc Dark. He said this. So I tried xCloud. And again, Doc Dark is um, enthusiastic about Game Pass. He's had issues. He spoke out against some of the things that Xbox has done that was not console friendly. And he feels slighted, slighted because he went and paid the money for the console. But here's Xbox. I um, mean, here's um, Doc Dark still. He says, so I tried xCloud yesterday on the Fire Stick uh, 4K Max. It was trash. Why would Xbox want to introduce a new audience to its games and service this way? That's the difference, Jazz. Oh yeah, you know what, I forgot one. But then when it comes to Game Pass and, and the structures taken away from Game Pass, we had this from, remember this video that we did earlier this week? If you didn't go check it out, it was, it was it was climbing the charts <laughs> it was burning the billboards check out this video that we did where paris lily came on an xbox glazing podcast and just gave them the, the cold hard truth that xbox in this whole game pass thing you, you can't make excuses for the things that people are concerned about and there needs to be some clarity he does that he says stop trying to make these false equivalencies when it comes to PlayStation Plus. Excellent video. Definitely check it out. All right. So in closing, here's what I have to say about all this. I, I think it's more than evident that Xbox is trying to work through their parasocial relationships to try to change the narrative. Now I get that Stein works for Xbox, but I they 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 threw that dude under the bus. For him to come out there and say that was was like yeah like we're stupid jazz on the other hand, i don't man, pff, jesus christ anyway now, they're trying to change the narrative in large part due to them believing that their strategy will work if people just talk good about it like if they can get these parasocial nuts out here to just talk good about it people will ignore what they see what they experience the things that digital foundry um paul Therott, and uh brad sams and even doc dark you guys know doc dark even the things that he said people will ignore them and say well no these influencers and these bloggers slash journalists when they want to be these bloggers are telling us that this is good so we're going to believe them look i'm sorry but gamers have functioning eyes they're not going to fall for this crap Outside of the small percentage of those disenfranchised from the console model, you know, the ones that Stadia and GFN and all these cloud platforms they're, they're, they're trying to build from, outside of continuing to grow that group, that small group, Xbox with the service as it is now is not converting any mainstream gamers. There is nobody that's going to say, ooh, 
I have a Series X or ooh, I have a Series S. And this service as it is, is a reasonable alternative. Even when they give you access to your a la carte games, even when they do that, nobody is going to say that, sorry. To give up your console, there has to be favorable trade-offs. And as packaged today, none exists for console gamers. Now, we will see if the service improves to a level that changes all that. I just don't know if publicly forsaking your core consumer on console is a wise thing to do now for the sake of your ecosystem. I, I, I'm and I'm in lockstep. I'm in lockstep with Doc Dark. I don't think that being so forceful to yank these incentives from them and talk this verbiage now to slight the, your core. I just don't think that that's good to do now. I think they need to you know be a little bit more timely with it, right? That is, unless you frankly don't give a damn. As long as you buy my game somewhere. And that's it from your boy. Let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section below. Have you tried Xbox on Fire TV? Let us know. Because who gives a heck what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They'll lead you to Geeks, Cloud Dose, to Tarnock Digital Culture, and MM2K Gaming. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.